It was time for Superintendent John Hoopenthal to finally face the music, following public backlash from his anonymous posts to various blogs, saying things like the need for, quote, no Spanish radio stations, no Spanish newspapers, this is America, speak English, or that, quote, he doesn't mind Mexican restaurants selling Mexican food, as long as the menus are mostly in English. And I'm not being humorous or racist, a lot is at stake here, end quote. I'm here today to repudiate those blog comments. But he didn't exactly backtrack from the comments, only wishing he'd use different words. I believe to the soul, the core of my being, that the, the ability to speak, read, and write English is the key to opportunity in, in, for students. Bob Lord with Block for Arizona first spotted Hoopenthal's anonymous post on a blog that traced back to the Department of Education's IP address. He claims Hoopenthal, under his alias Thucydides, sent them this email. He basically was defiant. He dared us to air his comments. And he said, why don't you have Thucydides Day and repeat all of my comments? And he said his comments don't embarrass him. But some community and business leaders are embarrassed by Hoopenthal, whose public repudiation ended with this tearful exit. The comments that were made about Spanish media, again, I think are non-productive um, and don't have really a, a, a space in our, in our economy. And as you can see, Hoopenthal's team doing a bit of damage control as we speak. And I want to read you guys this stat. According to the Pew Hispanic Research Center, Hispanics make up more than 40% of the student population K through 12 in Arizona. So you can understand that outrage. Now, Hoopenthal doesn't plan to resign, but those community and business leaders that are against him are going to work hard to make sure he's not reelected this fall. Yeah, certainly will have an effect on his political future. Thank you, Pete.